Hey YouTube, welcome to the video on knowledge management. One of the biggest flow breakers in a knowledge management workflow is creating the metadata for your note. Do I insert the tags when I create the notes? What tags should I actually be using? And will I remember to add all the metadata necessary when I finish making the note? And if you don't have a clear picture on how you are tagging your notes for better discoverability further down the line, it's really hard to stumble upon any long forgotten notes. What if I told you there was a tool that surfaced your notes as you were writing a new note? Imagine a world without the need for tagging your notes but the system understands the context of the ideas in the note and gently brings them forth. Here's where the AI-powered note-taking tool mem.ai shines. Say goodbye to adding metadata to your notes and just focus on creating content. In this video, I'll go through the features of the app itself in its current state, and I'll be answering one simple question. Is mem.ai a good tool for personal knowledge management and note-taking? Let's take a look. Here's a quick rundown of the features of mem.ai and notes are referred to as mems in this app. Let's take a look at what mem.ai has to offer. Mem.ai have a downloadable app as well as a browser-based web app. As I'm making this video, there's also an iOS app currently in beta testing that you can access through the iOS test flight. Create a new note, just start typing in the home view. You can also use the new note button next to the search or just type in command N in the desktop. You can also create a new note using mem spotlight. More on the spotlight in a bit. To automatically activate a clutter-free interface while you type, just activate focus mode in the settings. Then when you start typing, all the non-essential UI elements are automatically hidden. This might be distracting or not depending on how you perceive it. There are preset templates like a daily note, project outline, and more. You can also create your own templates by just using the three dots and create template from this mem. Insert templates using the slash command. Add any mem into your inbox from the menu. This is really useful to bookmark what you're currently working on. I love this feature. You can also remove the mems from the inbox from within the note or the inbox view itself. Mem has bi-directional linking. Add links to other notes using the plus sign followed by the name of the note. You can also create new notes using this method. You can see all the linked notes in the sidebar. The task system is still in its infancy. However, you can create a task in any note. All the tasks are then gathered into the task tab. You can see all the tasks from any of your notes in this view. Mark the task is done or snooze the task for later. There are a few features I would love to see in the task system. It'd be nice to add more information to the task and rearrange the task by priority. Easily access your notes from anywhere, anytime. With Spotlight, you can clip highlights and hold pages directly from your browser. Insert the highlights directly into your note system. And what's even more insane is that you can copy text from your notes into almost anywhere, including emails you're composing or blog posts that you're writing. To access it anywhere, just type in command shift and space. Insert AI generated text using the Raider AI, a GPT-3 tool that many other note apps are currently integrating into the feature toolbox. Smart Writer requires its own video as there is a lot to cover. I need to get my hands dirty with more experimentation to find the benefits to my own workflow. One thing I noticed with the tool is how it digs through your own note as you ask AI to create content for you. This is immensely powerful but you have to be careful you don't have any highlights or other non-original content in your system as it can't tell the difference at the moment. I save the beast for last. MemX is what makes Mem.ai stand out to any other note-taking tool out there. MemX is the AI-based search tool that surfaces similar notes from your system as you write. It sifts through the contents of your note, not only the title, and then recommends similar notes to what you're creating. So just start writing a new note, and MemX will do the dirty work of understanding the context of what you're writing, and then just recommend similar notes. This means that there is no need to tag your notes for better discoverability. The first time I tried it out, I was genuinely amazed at what notes it recommends. Notes that would otherwise stay hidden or surfaced. So who is mem.ai for and how can it help you create new ideas? The biggest use case for mem.ai is the creator community. Creating content like blog posts, memx sift through the notes in your system to uncover connecting ideas. Ideas that might have otherwise remained hidden. Your notes are automatically organized by the system, so no need to spend time organizing the notes in a specific way. In an earlier video, I went through how to think about tagging. Instead of thinking in terms of the topic, think where you might use this knowledge in the future. 
This is so hard as there might be contexts that just don't come into mind when creating the note the first time. I love how MemX solves this issue. It mines for the content of your notes and understands the context of the writing. Sometimes the searches and suggestions are a bit off, but for the large part, it seems to do the magic quite well. It's exhilarating when you are writing an article and you see a long lost note appear in the suggestions. And that note is a connection that you might not have made with a simple tagging and searching. MemX is also a great tool for knowledge management in general. If you follow my previous videos on the Zettelkasten method, mem. AI takes care of organizing your notes for you. The other great use case is when you're creating connections between your permanent notes. Mem also uses AI features in the search. You can ask mem.ai anything and it will uncover the notes based on your context. This is particularly useful when you want to consult your personal knowledge base from the search bar. I'd love to know if this type of feature is something you're interested in, so comment below. And also let me know how you feel about tagging and adding metadata to your notes if you're using tools like Obsidian or Logseq. Mem.ai is a free tool Tool to use. However, if you want the power of the AI features, such as the suggestions and the smart write, you'll have to subscribe to their Memex plan. It's about $10 a month. As of the moment, there is no Readwise integration, which is something that I use on a daily basis. However, it might not be a problem for you if you're not using Readwise in your workflow. One of the biggest pitfalls of the app is the lack of proper export function. You can download your notes, but they are exported as one big JSON or MD file. It would require some coding knowledge to make them into into single notes that can be opened with other note taking tools. A good export tool is critical in any PKM software as you want to take your notes with you to future proof your system. You have to put all your trust in a third party with your knowledge. The app is still in early production phases and has bugs and features yet to be fixed and built. Despite these pitfalls, the idea is amazing and has so much potential for knowledge worker and content creation. In the beginning, I set out to answer the question, is mem.ai a good tool for knowledge management? I believe I have to rephrase that question. How useful is mem.ai as a idea generation system? As there is no need to manage your knowledge, but focus on learning and generating ideas. That said, the system requires a lot of notes and ideas for it to work properly. The tool cuts out the friction of doing searches, creating connections, and the tedious task of adding metadata to your notes. If you want more control over your notes and your searches, you're probably better off with tools like Obsidian or Logseq or for the more hardcore users, Tana. Let me know in the comments below if you are keen on trying out Mem. If you enjoyed this video, click like, uh, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Keep on rolling. See ya.